So today I thought we would walk to Hemsby, which is here, or just down there. We'll start off um, at Richardson's. They've spent millions of pounds um, updating this park. Those uh, people that have been coming here for a long time will know this used to be Seacroft and the original trees that they used to have in this kind of like um, oval shape where the reception used to be. Um, there, the, the original trees are still there. Like I say, the uh, have spent millions of pounds. They've got caravans on here, chalets, and that basically is um, a replica of what they used to look like here at Seacroft. That's what uh, you used to stay in back in the uh, the 50s and 60s. Yeah, so this site is now absolutely huge and they've got a mixture of caravans, chalets, apartments, bungalows in there as well. Over here, we've got um, Cedar Chalet Park. Again, a lot of these are uh, originals and have been here for quite some time. And I'm sure you'll probably know the Cedar shops. They've been refurbished recently, actually. You can uh, hire bikes from there, get your bread, your milk, your holiday essentials. In fact, uh, let me know in the comments if anybody remembers, there used to be a hairdresser's in there, I think, back in the day. Also, when you're walking along here, I just wanna point out that there is a really very beautiful, picturesque cottage just hidden in here. Look at that, just tucked away. So over on this side, you've got Bel Air, which again, are chalets a lot of people have them as holiday lets and a fair few number of people actually live in them all year round i think you have to get off the site for about six weeks or four weeks um at the end of the year what lovely flowers so this is the other end of uh, richardson's hemsby beach it's uh, now the yacht club Got a swimming pool in there as well and some kids play area too. Used to be um, a club in there as well where the original Hemsby Beach was but now that's up the other end. You can see the mixture of caravans and these really old style chalets as well which uh, I think will probably be only around for a few more years before they get rid of them and put uh, caravans or lodges on there completely. And as you come up here, take away a bakery that uh, looks like it's going in there. And it's really interesting, you've got uh, two tattoo parlours in Hemsby. One there, and there's literally just one over the other side of the road. This is eerily quiet, for obvious reasons. Unless you see any locals like us doing a walk around. So the uh, Richardson's, which was started by one man and his boat, amazingly, they installed that high wire course um, over a year ago. They uh, also own that arcade. Just wanted to show you this. Did you know that Hemsby has a karting area as well? I think it's okay to walk in here because it's all boarded up anyway. This reminds me of like a pier. It's really nice. So yeah, look at that. If you wanted to go karting in Hemsby. Don't think I've ever heard it this quiet. Literally, all the amusement arcades are shut. And uh, the fact that um, the amusement arcades down there are only shut, I think, once a year. Here's a great little uh, adventure golf. Be panning for gold as well. Over here, which is uh, Maria's, used to be Bevan's. Fast food in there, fish and chips all day breakfast. They used to be a great bakery. I don't know if they're still there. It's called Beach Boutique now, but it used to be a great bakery there. Um, I said about one of my favourite fish and chips shops was in Newport. This is my other favourite one um, and gets uh, quite long queues in the summer, actually. If you're going to get your fish and chips there. Again, another tattoo parlour over there. These for amusements are always open. In fact, the only time they're ever closed, look, it's Christmas Day, open 364 days a year. But obviously because of the lockdown, 
they are all shut and everything is very eerily quiet. A lot of people who come to Great Yarmouth probably have never been to Hemsby before. Um, some of these mirror some of the arcades that you've got in Great Yarmouth actually. But you'll also know they're, uh, they're, they're themed behind Vegas casinos. The Mirage, obviously the Sands. And if you don't know, there is a great little fun fair here in Hemsby. The, uh, one of the entrances is here. And the other one is just uh, literally around the corner there which we'll go and check out. So strange to see these amusements quiet. I mean, literally, they are always open, even in the winter when there's nobody around. Other little gift shops just down here. Love this Hollywood diner. It's, uh, it's themed like a classic 40s, 50s diner. In fact, uh, all the placemats look a, a LPs, old vinyl. Amazing. Enjoy going there to get some breakfast as well. And uh, coincidentally, when they have the rock and roll weekenders um, over at the Holiday Park, sometimes they uh, do some live band stuff out there to kind of entertain everybody. Oh, notice the new hairdressers there going in the beach cut like that. So this is the other side of the fun fair. And uh, that's been there for absolutely ever. I mean, the fair has changed. Different rides coming in and out. I mean, I remember one of my favorite rides that used to be here were the uh, umbrellas, if you've ever been on those. There's also uh, an entrance to the fair from the, uh, the Winterson Dunes, which you can uh, just walk up along the coast. And there's a little entrance down here as well. But it's so peaceful. It's actually really nice just to be one of the uh, few people just walking around on my daily walk. You've got MBs here, great place for the kids to come on and do trampolining. And you've got MBs fun place up there. They used to do nightly entertainment years ago because uh, I actually um, was going to take a job there doing some compare work. Here's another crazy golf themed like Stonehenge. And as we walk up here, famous pub here in Hemsby. It's the Lake and Arms. Been here since uh, 1934. A uh, great place to come and sit outside in the summer and have a drink. And you come down to this area, obviously where you get down to the beach. And of course, Hemsby Lifeboat is here as well. And they've just uh, literally, this has just appeared in the last, uh, well, a few months, last time I was down here anyway. So just a point of reference, obviously this is still part of the Norfolk Coastal Path. You can go back down to Scrapby that way. And of course you can keep going all the way down there towards uh, Winterton. Lovely place to come in the summer, the beach calf. So as you can see, they're just uh, putting this in at the moment. Hemsby lifeboat, which uh, does a lot of work on the broads as well, as well as uh, the odd sea rescue, but I think mostly it's uh, inshore waters. They're doing this here at the moment. And also you get some free fireworks in the summer when you come down here to Hemsby. I can't remember what night it is. Feel free to put in the comments. I think it's either Wednesdays or Thursdays. And in actual fact, if you're staying in Scrap, if you stand along the cliff top, you can uh, you can actually see them from there as well. And just coming around the back here, you can uh, the back entrance to MBs. It's another amusement arcade. This used to be called the Vegas, I think, or Las Vegas. And I've got to mention one of my favourite um, Chinese takeaway places. China boy in Hemsby. People who live around here will know what I'm on about. Um, you've got the Sea Dow Bar in there as well. It's been there again for 
a very long time. So thanks for joining me on my tour of Hemsby. If you like what you saw, come walk with me again. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and tell us in the and tell us in the comments below your memories of this uh, lovely little seaside village nestled in the dunes.